Big question everybody wants to know. What was my hemoglobin levels? Okay, you guys. So, my hemoglobin levels was... Found shop on Insta boutiques, all them little ass clothes only fit fake booties. Bad bitch, still talking cash shit. Pussy like water, I'm a mother and relaxing. I would never trip on a nigga if I had him. Bitch, that's my trash, you the maid, so you bagged him. I'm a savage, yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet, yeah. Sassy, moody, hey, nasty, hey, hey. yeah. Acting stupid, what was happening? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow by the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you've been rocking and riding with me, uh, make sure you smash that like button so I'll know you're back uh, for another video. So we're going to jump right on into it just like we did last time. I got my handy dandy notebook. So we're going to try to make this video as quick as possible. Excuse me. So disclaimer, first of all. <laughs> I just got off of work. I just threw this makeup on so I know I'm looking busted, honey, busted and disgusted. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys because I had promised it to you. So I'm trying to stick with my word. So today we're going to be talking about labs. So we're going to be talking about scheduling labs during this uh, coronavirus pandemic. We're going to talk about my lab results and what I did to get my lab results. Sounds like a lot, but I promise you guys, if you bear with me, I'm going to push through this really, really fast. So starting with even getting my lab paperwork. So starting with even getting my lab paperwork, I had to message um, Julia or Julietta. I'm just going to call her Jay because I don't want to butcher her name. I had to message her a couple days prior to my one month out before my surgery date. So I know with this uh, coronavirus thing going on, I know they've probably been getting uh, pounded with all type of requests and different things like that. So I just kind of took the initiative on myself to just ask her for it. So I wouldn't be sitting around like twiddling my thumbs, worried about like, oh my God, is she gonna send me this paperwork? Oh my God, you know? So I just was like, let me just message her because I already had her information from when she had messaged me prior um, at the end of March asking me if I was going to keep my surgery date. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and do it. Get it out the way. Boom. So um, it took her about a couple days, um, but she did get the, the lab paperwork over. To if you're like me and this is your first round and you've never went through anything like this, stay tuned. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know all the details and um, what you need to know. Okay. So one, when it comes to an urgent care clinic, make sure, make sure uh, you call first. Make sure you call around because every urgent care does not do pre-op labs. Every urgent care does not do pre-op labs. So make sure you call around and verify that that urgent care uh, does pre-op labs. Also, number two, make sure you schedule an appointment to see a doctor. And this, the process might take more than one day. I'm going to get into why I'm saying that. I called around to different clinics here um, in my area. I found an urgent care that does pre-op care. Um, I just let them know. I said, hey, I'm going for lipo 360. I didn't say anything about a fat transfer. I just said, hey, I'm going for lipo 360. Um, I need pre-op labs done. Do you do it? They said, yes. I said, okay, good. Can I schedule an appointment with the doctor? So they said, yes. So now prior to me scheduling an appointment to the doctor, I didn't ask them if I needed to fast. So I already assumed, I just assumed in my head I was going to need to a fast for my blood work or for my labs because I haven't seen a video where someone said that I didn't have to. So um, before the day before my appointment, I'm fasting, fasting, fasting. Now, mind you, my appointment was not until 1230 p.m. Um, that that following day. So I didn't eat anything from like nine at night to when my appointment was. So um, I get to my appointment. They have a stand outside, which wasn't like bad because it only took 10 minutes and the outside area was beautiful i'm going to show you guys the clip you know once i finish explaining so the outside area was like beautiful so i wasn't complaining about that um so 
then after we waited outside they call when they call you in they get straight to the point so i went in she gave me the urinalysis cup she said go to the bathroom pee in the urinalysis cup so i said okay good to go so i go back there i pee in the urinalysis cup as soon as i come out the bathroom she sends me directly to my room she said hey put this gown on and i'm going to come in and do your ekg so i said okay good to go so after my ekg was done i'm like okay so what about my she was like, oh, well, you're not going to be able to get your blood work done right now. Uh, you have to get your blood work done at LabCorp. You know, we're partnering with LabCorp, so LabCorp will do your blood work. So I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, you know, I was wondering why they didn't tell me this over the phone. So, um, sorry, guys, I was checking the time. So I'm like, well, I wonder why they didn't tell me this over the phone. So um, I go up to the front and I ask them, you know, I'm like, okay, so, you know, am I done? It was like, yeah, the doctor's going to put in your lab orders. Mind you, at this point, I still have not seen the doctor at all. I did not see the doctor none that day. It was like, the doctor's going to put in um, your lab orders. And then once your lab orders is put in, you're going to... Um, you can go to lab court after the doctor put in your lab orders. Now, mind you, I don't know when the doctor is going to put in the lab orders. I am hungry as hell. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I have not ate all day. So I'm like, you like, you know what? I'm just going to go online and make my appointment uh, for lab court for the day after. I'm not going to sit around and wait, which was luckily I did that because the doctor did not call me back until uh, 7 p.m. that night. Next day, my appointment uh, the appointment that I got, I couldn't get an appointment till 145. So I got there the next day to lab court just to find, didn't eat again, didn't eat. Mind you, I'm starving again. So I get oh. there, I get to the back, get, you know, get my blood drawn or whatever. And I was telling her like, oh, I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. And she was like, why are you feeling lightheaded? And I'm like, I didn't eat. She was like, oh, nobody told you that the blood uh, work or the, the blood labs that you're getting done uh doesn't require you to fast i'm like no no one told me that i've been fasting for the last two days thinking that you know i needed to fast for my blood labs and she was like no these are not the labs that you're taking or the labs that's being requested you don't have to fast for these labs so if you're out there don't be a fool like me and starve yourself you can eat and still get your blood work done and it's perfectly fine so um that was my experience now i could have went to lab court and skipped the urgent care clinic but you don't want to do that the reason you don't want to do that is because you're going to need a doctor which is my number two thing you're going to need a doctor to sign off on your clearance and your um, blood work saying that hey everything is good to go and this patient is cleared for surgery if i would have went to just lab core there they have phlebotomists i believe that's what they're called that just take your blood work and stuff there so there wouldn't have been a doctor to sign off on my clearance letter so if i would have just went to lab core i could have got my labs and everything done there but i would not have i would have still had to find someone to a doctor to sign off on my clearance letter so that's why it's important to make sure you let the urgent care clinic know that you're going to need a doctor and that's why it's important to set up an appointment and and not just walk in big question everybody wants to know what was my hemoglobin levels okay you guys so my hemoglobin levels was da, 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 da. right 13.7 so i want to let you guys in on a little secret on how uh, my hemoglobin levels uh, was at 13.7. Also, um, I'm gonna let you see um, my other test results. As you can see here, like these are all my test results that um, they had us take. I mean, if you wanna pause this, you can, but I didn't really feel like any of the other ones was as serious as the hemoglobin. But um, all my, um, all my test results was pretty much above average they was all really good and i didn't do anything different i didn't change my diet um i still was drinking i still been i was still was smoking I, i've stopped drinking and smoking now but i still was um up until when i had got my lab work done i didn't change my diet i didn't change anything the only thing i did different was start taking vitamins i started taking these vitamins back in february um three months prior to my surgery so this is what i believe got my hemoglobin at a 13.7 don't mind my nails y'all know the pandemic is going on don't even play with me so i didn't take any hemoplex i've been taking this faithfully this blood builder um it's an iron and multivitamin dietary supplement 
and it it's also says proven in a clinical study to increase iron levels without side effects now when you take these vitamins i don't know about that no side effect like when you take these make sure you eat first because it's been a couple times where i took these before i ate and i was feeling dizzy so i don't know this one it is because i always take them together but i start feeling dizzy if i take one uh if i take this without eating so another one that i've been taking is the 800 mcg of folic acid so hopefully y'all can see that yeah so and those two i got off of amazon this i got out of walmart uh, B12. Also, I've been taking this iron plus vitamin C. I've been taking this counter attack. And this is a boost immune response, clears and protects. And honey, that's all I've been doing. I, I didn't change my diet in any kind of way. Actually, I gained weight because I was, when this first started, I think I weighed like 173, 174. I weighed 178, so I actually gained weight. So I didn't change my eating habits. Um, I didn't stop drinking. I didn't stop smoking cigarettes to the day before my labs. So the only thing I did, the only thing I changed in my daily life or my daily routine was I started taking these vitamins back in February. Oh, okay. Another thing I've seen a lot of people talking about like, oh, I'm not really good with vitamins or they beat themselves up if they miss a day. Let me tell you guys, I miss plenty of days with these vitamins. It's been, I know February, I think I missed like three or four days. March, I think I missed like five days. April, I missed, I don't know how many days, but if I miss a day, you know, I'll just try to take it the next day. And, you know, I'm not going to try to double up or anything. I don't beat myself up about it. It's just like, I forgot. My bad. So, it still worked. Like my like I said, it's 13.7. I feel like that's awesome. I feel like it's going to be probably about a 14 by the time my surgery date comes. And I'm not telling you guys my surgery date right now because it's creepy people out there. I'm sure ain't nobody trying to take me. You know what I mean? Because they go hurry up and bring my ass back but i'm just saying i don't want nobody trying to meet at my airbnb break in or anything like that thinking i got some money because i ain't got no money because dr Dobat clinic has my money i don't have no money okay i just want y'all to know that um so just to recap when it comes to scheduling just make sure you do your research you call around to these urgent cares and make sure they do pre-op care before uh you get there and make sure you schedule an appointment do not walk in make sure you schedule an appointment also um, make sure that you get your clearance letter written by your doctor. Um, I'll show you what my doctor wrote. It was pretty uh, generic. It just pretty much said like, hey, you know, to whom it may concern, you know, her, she did these tests and it was fine. She's clear for labs. And that's what she faxed over to uh, Dr. Dobek's office. So it doesn't have to be nothing crazy so at this point i'm just waiting on my clearance letter i don't know how long that's gonna take from dr dobeck's office but um other than that you know thank you guys for joining my channel again um to all the new subscribers welcome 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 uh thanks for rocking and rolling with me and um see you in the next video Mwah!